everyone. We're back with Behind the Covers. It's fun to look back. I for sure would have to say that this November 2010 W magazine cover with Kim Kardashian was probably one of the more memorable ones. She later in the day becomes silver. <laughs> Mark Seliger was the photographer and Bob Racine was doing her hair. Barbara Kruger did all of this artwork text on the cover. And I used uh, a combination of Krylon um, silver paint and Makeup Forever silver powder. And, you know, I had to make it look as if it was wet because she was then later dipped in this tub of silver non-toxic paint. So she had to look wet. So I had to make sure that whatever I put on her body wouldn't come off when she lay in the tub. So I had to do all of these tests and, and things to make sure that they were gonna be kind of copacetic. We used a combination of sea sponges and we used brushes for little detailed areas, especially the collarbone was important that it felt blended around this area. And we tried to be quick, but it was a process because it couldn't look streaky and it couldn't, look dry she was super patient so i have to say that she was a total superstar trooper and i think she was brave to do it and cool to do it and she's a risk taker for her face i really wanted to keep her a little bit classic and a little bit futuristic i kept her skin on her face very minimal so that was fun it wasn't my first time doing this however i have to say for Vogue magazine, I painted Natalia Vodianova, her entire body and face silver. So I did purple, really uh, shiny eyeshadow, I remember. And she's like in her kitchen pretending to cook dinner. So that was also memorable. So another cover that I did with Kim Kardashian, it's interesting now. This was the September issue 2010 of Allure magazine. Paul Cavaca was the sittings editor, Michael Thompson, the photographer, Garen, one of my favorite hairdressers, and myself. So this cover, just to give you a little bit of a time frame, was September 2010, Keeping Up with the Kardashians launched 2007. And, you know, so she was just really kind of um, reaching that moment where she was just about to break big. I think back, that was like the first time really a, a sort of reality TV star got a cover of a magazine that I worked on. We were sort of more inspired by Sophia Loren and Ava Gardner and, you know, classic beauties. So I used, you know, Egyptian magic on her body. I used a lot of highlight, you know, on her chin, her nose, her forehead everywhere um, I could really because her skin quality is so incredible. So I made her brows a little bit darker. I would have used slate then if I could. For her cheeks, I would have used something like petal and biscuit. I did, I guess, use a little bit of liquid liner just in the very close to the root. So these were uh, 12 years ago, which is so crazy. And we'll see where she is in in the next 12 years. Just behind the covers, any other of your favorite covers that maybe I might have been a part of. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.